Hello guys, welcome to my third video for setting up a login application using PHP Symphony 2 framework. In this video, we will create our Twitter Bootstrap template and link it with our existing project. I have already created this login form which is available in the Twitter Bootstrap example and I am using the same so you, you people can go ahead and download the same from the Twitter Bootstrap website. So all we have to do is now just link this asset to our project there are some javascript and css file which will be required for our project so we can download that and put it in a folder called public in the resources folder you can create a folder in the login login bundle which we have created then we will have to run a command called asset install which will make those asset available while we run this application so what happens is that when we run this command the asset files are being copied to the web folder in a folder called bundles so there's a command called assets which links them to the twig file so we can give the command assets here and give the path as bundles our bundle name and the folder which we have put our file in now this is the folder to which the assets are installed when uh, while we run the assets install command so the usual procedure is that we copy all the required asset files in the resources public folder of our bundle and then run the asset install command so any modification if we have to make to the css files we can make it to the CSS file which is present in our bundle and then run the asset install command. Now I am just making all these paths to the twig format so that it is available while we run this application. I think I haven't added the jQuery file. Mm, I will just now add that to the resources public folder yes the jquery file is not present in the web folder so I'll just paste my jquery files inside the js folder and now I will have to run the asset install command once again so that it is copied to the web folder yes now it is available so now we can just test this application once I think I have given one command wrong the asset command is just asset and not assets so I'll just correct that and run again in the browser. Yes, this is working now. Now what we can do is divide our twig into a parent twig and child twigs. For that we will have to define many blocks inside our parent twig and inside the child twig we can create the same blocks so I will create some blocks inside the parent twig which is index.html.twig so I have created one block for javascripts and now I will create one block for the style sheets which we will be using and now one for the main container so how this is going to work is that now I will create one child twig called login so this is our child twig now I will extend this child twig to the parent twig that is index.html.twig We will have to give the full path of the twig right here. When we extend this child twig to our parent twig, uh, all the HTML code that we had defined in the index.html.twig will be imported to this twig. And now all we have to do is define all the blocks which we had defined in the parent twig inside the child twig. So we can copy the codes which are specific to the child twig so I'm just copying the container block and creating a container block in the login form 
so this login form is just specific to the login tick so we can just copy that into the login twig and create all these blocks so again this style is specific to the login twig so we don't have to define that in the index twig so we can copy that style and use that code inside our block style sheet for the login twig so our parent twig looks more neat right now so any form that we have to create again we can use the same parent twig and define all the blocks for that all we'll have to do is extend the form to the parent twig now we'll just run the project and see I think I have given the spelling wrong I'll just change that to login bundle and run it again and see yes it is working now so now we have our twig environment set up in the next video we will link this twig to our roots and make the login application work thank you guys have a nice day